Hello everybody, happy Wednesday. I hope everybody is having a fabulous day wherever you are. You guys, it is another rainy, ucky day. It's been like a week since we've seen the sun. It's just crazy. Um, today though, nobody's here. It's me and Luke. So I'm sure I'll catch a little bit of me and Luke together for you. But uh, it's a great day for me to just share with you guys what I'm eating throughout the day and then I can just share dinner tonight but I'm actually gonna make dinner super simple tonight um, I'm gonna just throw some chili in the crock pot because I will keep meat separate and then I can throw in some macaroni or some rice I haven't decided which and kind of just stretch that out and I thought we were gonna have leftovers today for lunches from last night's sheep band dinners and there was zero they loved it they loved it so we had no leftovers, so everybody got peanut butter sandwich kind of thing today. So it's like, okay, chili, there's always leftovers. So I'm going to make a huge pot of chili, and um, it's just that kind of weather anyway, you know? So I'll probably make some cornbread for all of them. I will not have that, but I will share dinner with you later. And then through the day, though, I will just share with you what I am eating, since, like I said, everybody's gone to, like, I don't even know when. <laughs> I don't even know. I know Charles is home at like, he'll probably be home around six. Um, Ronnie's at play practice till five. Kate's at school till after five. My mother's keeping Theo and then picking Katie up and bringing him home. Ash has guard at six. So <laughs> we might even be eating in shifts if people aren't home. It's just kind of crazy. Um, and Wednesdays I think are just going to be that way for a bit now that school's back in college and um you know everything going on with the plays and color guards so let's just go on and jump in i'll show you guys what i made for breakfast and we'll just start with that okay i am starting with this old-fashioned oats ignore my bowl i know they're old we're down to actually only having two i gotta go actually buy bowls um i don't measure i'm just dumping some in Okay, then I'm gonna add water. You guys, the base of my oatmeal stays the same, always, no matter what else I do. So this is some ground nutmeg. I just sprinkle a little bit. And then just some vanilla. This is almond extract. I love to add this stuff. Um, you just do it a couple little bit because it's strong, but it adds such a great flavor. And then cinnamon. This is my base no matter what. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave for three minutes. Okay, and then add whatever you want. The uh, fruit-wise, I'm doing frozen strawberries. The frozen and the warm together is such a wonderful combination. And then I'm adding some of this pure maple syrup to the top. And you could definitely do brown sugar too if you want, or coconut sugar, whatever sugar you like. And then I'm adding some of this unsweetened almond milk. And that's it. This big bowl of goodness is my breakfast. Okay, those of you that too wanna know or have questions about what I'm doing or want to ask me anything that you want, you guys feel free to message me. You can email me. My email is linked down below. You can send me messages on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, I am not a pro, but I can help you with whatever I can. And I will help you every day except for Friday. <laughs> Friday is the day that we take off. And that is where we just completely unplug all together. We just, um, we don't do any online anything we don't do um youtube we don't do anything at all and um, we just disconnect and spend that time together so that's why fridays are the day that we take off
All right, quiet for just a minute. Okay, so I put in a half a bag of these peppers and onions, a bag of butternut squash, one can of these diced, petite diced tomatoes. I'm gonna add a little Worcestershire sauce. A little bit of cinnamon. A little garlic salt. And some chili powder. This is all just to your liking. One can of cannellini beans. Two cans of tomato sauce. One can of stewed tomatoes. Two cans of these mild chili beans. I just get those from Aldi. Two cans of these Rotel. This is just Aldi brand. A little bit of brown sugar. Stir this up best you can with the frozen in there. And then I'm going to cook this on low for about five hours. If you're not wanting to make it um, starch solution style, <laughs> just fine. Then you would just add your meat. Um, I'm going to cook the meat separate and people can add it to their dish. Those that want it and those that don't, don't have to have it. So that way I'm cooking one meal. No, no, don't touch baby. All right. I'll be very back. And if you've not tried, this is my fall chili recipe is what I call it because they usually do pumpkin or squash um, which is perfect in the fall time. I love it. My family loves it. It's a great way to get squash and everybody and try it if you haven't already. If you don't have squash you could just cut up some sweet potatoes that would be good in it too. Um, and the brown sugar and the cinnamon give it just a little bit of a different flavor which goes perfect with the squash which is why it is a fall type chili and all the cinnamon and all of that's going on. So try it if you haven't already. You will love it. So easy to make. It's dump, dump, dump. Just super easy. Okay, so Jake is making this noodle dish that he got from uh, Christmas. We got all kind of stuff. I don't even know what that is either. But that made me say, hmm, I want some noodles too. So I have all kinds of noodles. Um, you guys know we love the Asian type food, so I'm going to make a packet of these noodles and make me a noodle dish too. So all I'm going to do is boil water and then you boil these until they are done. So this is what they look like when you get them out. And all that's in this is just wheat, flour, water, and salt. That's it. So definitely able to do that. It's got like no fat. This is just good to go. So I'm going to... Follow the directions, boil, drain, rinse with cool water, set it aside, and then make a sauce. So it says serve with an udon dipping sauce, so I guess these are like udon, oh they are, Japanese udon noodles. Alright, why the noodles are getting ready to cook, I am just going to go on and stir fry in some soy sauce some veggies. Okay, I am out of my stir fry veggie mix. That's not good. So I'm have broccoli, a can of water chestnuts, stirring the rest of the broccoli. And a can of mushrooms. Peppers and onions would be really good in here too, but I'd have to run back downstairs to get them, so I'm just going to make it with this. So this is broccoli, water chestnuts, and mushrooms, and soy sauce. Then I also have this hoisin sauce. This is like a really sweet kind of sauce. 
I'm gonna throw some of that in there. And I'm going to add a little bit of this gochujang. It's just a red pepper, like a spicy um, red pepper paste. you guys you can make this he's doing stuff because I'm making lunch but you can make this however complicated or easy as you want if all you want to do is throw in some hoisin sauce teriyaki sauce or you have a sweet chili or any kind of kung pao sauce or um, general sao sauce whatever kind of sauce you want to just throw in you don't have to mix and match and do all that you can keep it so simple and so easy and you could use spaghetti noodles if you don't have udon noodles that's okay too okay so here it is now Jake went in some of these too so there is noodles these are so good and then some of these yummy vegetables on here a little bit of the sauce I'm making the biggest mess you ever saw. I'm on top. This is just a little bit of the sesame seeds. And that's it. You guys, this is my lunch then. It's noodles. This is Asian dish. So good. All right, and here is this wonderful fall chili. I'm gonna eat this over rice. The kids are getting wild. Okay, now it's time for dessert. My family is gonna have this cake that Luke made a couple days ago. <laughs> so many. We're not even putting icing. Just crumbling up this strawberry cake and putting this strawberry sugar syrup on top. I cannot eat that. And I'll put some whipped cream on top. But I'm not showing you all of that because I'm showing you what I'm eating today. So, um, I cannot do that. I am going to make my own dessert to enjoy with them. So I have frozen bananas. Now, I can make this as decadent as I want or on the healthier side. And I've had enough, I feel like, with the noodles, um, processed type stuff. So I'm going to skip the sweetened condensed coconut milk if you add that to this that stuff tastes like caramel if you add that to this when you blend this up it gives you a such a rich super sweet decadent ice cream i kid you not you guys you would love it um if you do not like bananas it does of course taste a little bit like banana because it's bananas um but if you aren't a banana lover you could make this with any frozen fruit that you want um, there are ways to make ice cream just by freezing like by using the condensed sweetened milk and adding um, you know just different fruits and stuff to it so you just have to play around with it I like the taste of bananas so this doesn't bother me at all to have a little bit of a banana flavor now the condensed coconut milk though is also higher fat. Part of the starch solution is keeping the fat on the low. So that's another reason I feel like I've kind of hit my limit of process. I don't feel like I did overdid fat at all today, but definitely just kind of feeling the healthier kind of thing. So here is what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna make my ice cream to go with their ice cream or their cake. Okay, if you do not have a high-speed blender, I have a Vitamix, but if you don't have one, you can do this in a food processor. But I still let these sit out, my frozen bananas. I let them sit for about 20 minutes or so, so that they're not so hard. 
Then I am making chocolate. Because why not have chocolate? This is unsweetened cacao powder, or you could use cocoa powder. I'm gonna do a little bit more. I want to. I'm having a chocolate craving for all that good chocolate goodness. A little vanilla and again with the almond extract I just really like the flavor that that gives I use that in my icing too a lot in my buttercream icings and then we just put the lid on a Vitamix comes with this tamper that you can pound this stuff down and get the bananas good so that turns it into an ice cream you what oh, baby I asked you where is Jake? Jake is in the basement in his room again. Oh, oh, oh. You can go get him. Okay. Okay. So, if you do not have a Vitamix or a powered blender, then you could add a little almond milk or water if you want. And start with this all the way on high. <laughs> this is what you come out with. You guys, it's really... Can you say that? It's like ice cream. It really, really is. My kids love this. Like I said, it does have a slight banana taste. But <laughs> it's so good. The only thing with banana ice cream is it melts really, really fast. Okay, so I'm going to dish this out in my bowl. I'm going to have the kids come taste test it for you. That's how much I know that they would love it. And then I have this syrup that I made. This is what they're having on their cake. It's just strawberries with some sugar. And I'm gonna just dish a little bit of that right over it. Look at that. I'm going to use this bigger pumpkin spoon. Oh, so good. And this is a diet. Alright, I need taste testers so that the friends go over know how good my dessert is tonight. What is this? Grab a spoon. I'll do it all. No, Ronnie, then you don't get to do it. The whole point is on camera. This is mom's dessert tonight. All right, on the count of three, you guys try it. You'll know what it is as soon as you eat it. It's so chocolate pudding. I'm so sorry, you're not allowed to get into it. One, two, three, go. What's one of your favorite treats? Banana, banana, banana ice cream. Yes. Chocolate, but this time with strawberry goodness on top. I think this is mom's dessert. <laughs> That is mom's dessert. Is it good? Does it taste healthy? No, no, mom. Well, it does a little bit. It tastes less healthy when you add more strawberries. Well, I gotta save some. You guys are gonna have the crumbled up cake that Luke made. I'm gonna crumble it up and put the strawberry and sugar on top. Okay. And whipped cream if you guys have it. If you still have some, I don't know. I will. We should stop. Then the rest. If I have any left, I'm I will. I will eat it. You what? I have garden tonight. I know. You ready to eat? I'll let you go on and eat now. All right, you guys. Don't make fun. I have my robe on over my clothes. But it's chilly. Charles just took his coat off. Don't let him fool you. It, it is, is chilly, chilly in right here. here. See, it's chilly. It's chilly. It's starting dinner. I already ate dessert. Because I showed you all my dessert. I made banana ice cream. You don't like it anyway. The kids love it. Anyway, we got to share our question of the day. And then I know you haven't really seen anybody much today but today was about what I ate he so has all his music going and his headphones on yeah but it's <laughs> and story bots thank it's you really it's cool. story bots which is a great show but thank you guys those of you that have gone over and voted on his channel because he absolutely was like on cloud nine Allison you are the bomb baby and tonight's question if you wanted to earn $50 how would you like to earn that money with as little effort YouTube, as possible. YouTube, for us. What would you do? You gotta earn 50 bucks, what are you gonna do? 
I'm not trying to get into YouTube because we don't make that much. <laughs> you gotta work hard for that 50 bucks on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? Sell a cake? Uh, let me tell you, for the amount of time it takes to put together a cake, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't know. He just don't want to. He wouldn't care about that 50 bucks. He's just saying, forget it. <laughs> I love somebody's lawn. Love somebody's lawn for 50 bucks. We in the wrong business. Just saying. <laughs> as far as chili bar happening it didn't happen i didn't even make meat you know what they're all eating vegetarian chili which i mean it's about what i ate today anyway but they're all eating vegetarian chili they are throwing some crackers and i made a bunch of rice and they're um ronnie though i am putting in chicken nuggets into the air fryer because she does not do chili she's the only one that doesn't everybody else does she does not like any spicy anything at all so all right I'm gonna wrap this up and we will see all of you tomorrow. We're wrapping this up. Is it hot? No. <laughs> all right, we will see all of you tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye everybody.